Today, we will see some misconceptions related to distributive property of multiplication of whole numbers. Misconception 1. Which of the following expansion is correct for 2 into 188? Sometimes, distribution is understood as separating the digits and option 1, which is an incorrect answer, is chosen. Similarly, instead of adding the digits, they are multiplied and option 2, which is also an incorrect answer, is chosen. With the correct understanding, option 3 is chosen, which is the correct answer. Sometimes, the usage of brackets is considered unnecessary and they are ignored and the given numbers are expressed as in option 4. This is also an incorrect answer. Misconception 2. How can we distribute 12 into 5 plus 7? While using distributive property, we need to multiply the numbers inside the brackets with the number outside the brackets. With this understanding, option 2 is chosen, which is the correct answer. Due to confusion in understanding the distributive property, sometimes the number outside the brackets is simply multiplied with the numbers inside the bracket. This is an incorrect way. Similarly, while distributing multiplication over addition, plus sign is written between the numbers inside the bracket and the multiplication sign is written outside the brackets. This is also incorrect. Misconception 3. Which of the following expression is equal to 102 into 18 plus 102 into 32? While taking 102 as a common term from 102 into 18 plus 102 into 32, 102 in the first bracket is added to 102 in the second bracket. Therefore, option 1 is incorrect. The correct understanding is that the common number is written outside the brackets and the number which we multiplied it to are added and written inside the brackets. With this understanding, option 2 is the correct answer. Some important points related to distributive property. Sometimes there will be no correct understanding of distributive property or sometimes it is just considered as a rule. Because of this reason, it is not applied to simplify the multiplication. In our daily life, we come across many situations where we can use the distributive property to multiply two numbers without manually multiplying the numbers on paper. That is why this is an important property. Today, we have seen some misconceptions related to distributive property of multiplication of whole numbers.